So let's talk about Cargate. Let's talk about Cargate, these Black Friday protests. They're beefing up security for tomorrow's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. But it was so much fun to watch Fox News implode live on the air today. So you had this vehicle that exploded at the New York Canadian border. At first they thought this was a terrorist attack. And when they showed this clip of the explosion, I knew exactly what happened. Now I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure I knew what happened. And according to witnesses, and we got more out of this one witness who I believe works for the Niagara Falls Park System. Well, we got more out of this one witness who I think lives in Canada in five minutes than we did in the four or five hours that Fox News was reporting the story. Now, according to this witness and others, this vehicle was circling the parking lot at a 7-Eleven. People were getting into an argument. You had a couple of goons. They believe this was a stolen vehicle. They were trying to evade the cops. They were going 80, 90 miles an hour. So apparently they either clipped or hit a wall. The car flipped or jumped in the air, landed on the other side, clipped or hit another wall. It exploded. And they closed down Buffalo International Airport. All the bridges in and out of Canada. The Rainbow Bridge. So here are the headlines that are out there about this. AP, Rainbow Bridge closed after vehicle explosion near Niagara Falls. WIBB4, vehicle explosion at Rainbow Bridge closes all western New York border crossings. At the Guardian, U.S.-Canada border, FBI investigating after a vehicle explosion at Rainbow Bridge. Fox News, New York vehicle explosion reported at Rainbow Bridge near Niagara Falls, one injured. So here's what Fox News has to say about this. Now, this is what they were reporting at the time. Explosives were in the vehicle at the time, and two people who were in the car are dead. A border officer was injured. The vehicle was driving from U.S. to Canada, and they were attempting to drive toward the border officer building. All bridges at this time are closed in the area, and all government buildings are evacuated, according to sources. So that was at Fox News earlier. But let's get into what's happening in New York City tomorrow. Oh, but this was just great to watch. Fox News imploding live on the air. And Trace Gallagher having to admit, yeah, you know, it sounds like it was more, now that we think about it, given all the facts that are coming in, it sounds more like it was a gas tank that exploded when this vehicle hit a wall, whatever it did. But according to ABC7, ABC7 New York, While there are no specific threats to the 2023 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York, the Israel-Hamas war has created a heightened threat environment that makes the parade an attractive target, a new threat assessment from the FBI, Department of Homeland Security, and other agencies said. And I'd like to know something here. Why was the FBI getting involved in what should be a local incident? This car exploded in New York State. So the authorities in New York should be investigating this, not the FBI. Sometimes the government just needs to stay out of it. New York Governor Kathy Hochul discussed state security across New York on Tuesday morning amid the war and the latest threat assessment. Quote, we've been naive to think the war in the Middle East does not have the possibility to bleed over into other states, particularly New York. We've been targeted in the past, yet we are very prepared. Information obtained by ABC News also shows concern for lone actors using online platforms to express threats of violence against Jewish, Muslim, and Arab communities, as well as committing simple, unsophisticated attacks that are difficult to detect in advance. Oh, but what about white Americans? We're not targets? They're making it sound here like this is all going to be carried out by some white supremacist somewhere. When we know that all of these conflicts, all of these protests have been within these communities. The Jewish, the Muslim, the Arab communities. 
And according to ABC 15, holiday travelers fear New York City after anti-Israel group releases action map targeting major landmarks. So this group called Within Our Time has posted a map of potential targets in New York City. Starbucks, Burger King, McDonald's, the uh, Manhattan Line Park, I think it is. It says here that they list 16 target locations, including New York City's transportation hubs, media companies. So they're going to be beefing up security tomorrow at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. They're expecting all these Black Friday protests. So it should just be a fun weekend all around. Just a fun weekend all around. And of course, I'll bring you the latest once it breaks. But how do you like that? Fox News imploding on the air today, live on the air, because they just couldn't wait to report the story because it happened in New York. Car explosion at the New York Canadian border. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can also follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. Or you can go to X, Culture Confederacy, at Culture Confed 1 on X. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. You all have a great Thanksgiving, and I'll catch you next time.